Hi everyone. So today we have Karthik with us, who has got a brilliant rank in Gate EC examination this year. So let's uh, talk to him and get to know more about his journey. So yeah, hi Karthik. Can you briefly introduce yourself to our viewers? Hi sir. Uh, thank you sir for inviting me for this channel. Uh, my name is Karthik and I am from Hyderabad. And uh, I have done my schooling from Sri Chaitanya High School. And I completed my intermediate from uh, Sri Chaitanya Junior College. And I have completed my B Tech in ECE from uh, JNTU College of Engineering Hyderabad and uh, I have passed out in 2024 and from then uh, I have taken one year drop and uh, I prepared for GATE 2025 exam. Okay, okay. So this was a one year drop. So in 2024, what was your performance and how did you improve it? In 2024, I got uh, uh, 19 marks and I got 19,000 rank for, for that particular marks and uh, I was quite disappointed and uh, Actually, after writing the exam, I thought to uh, I thought to uh, leave the gate exam and uh, I should not attempt again. <clears throat> Actually, uh, I got offer from Accenture as an associate software engineer. Okay. Uh, so actually, the the joining was delayed for uh, five to six months. Okay. So in that gap, I I wanted to go for UPSC. Then I the competition is very high, so I switched to gate. Then I have okay. I have done uh, I have into the institute for coaching, and uh, at uh, in November ending the syllabus was completed by the institute. So in December January we should prepare in our home. So uh, the joining letter was also uh, Accenture gave me at November twenty eight. Job okay. location also in Hyderabad only. Okay. So there was uh, so much pressure uh, around me so to join the company so. So the, all were telling uh, join the company and prepare parallelly. Yeah. But uh, I was not uh, convinced because after joining the company, we can't uh, keep our 100% efforts. Yeah. So uh, I, I did not join the Accenture and uh, I have left it and I 100% I have given for gate. Yeah. So it was so very it... tough call for me to uh, uh, did, do not join Accenture. Yeah, yeah, too many tough calls like uh, getting 19,000 rank and then uh, yeah. uh, improving so much and in between <laughs> rejecting a job offer as well. So how did you keep your motivation? I What was the thing that kept you going that I need to stick to this gate examination and I need to perform well, I need to get uh, under 100 rank. So what was the motivation? What did you, what kept you motivated? I just uh, believed in myself and uh, in some Instagram reels also I have seen uh, so many motivations and uh, I should never give up in my life. So yeah. that all motivated me and uh, I should crack it uh, some, somewhere in my uh, inner I have uh, decided. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned about Instagram. So let's talk about social media. Did, do, do you really think that uh, uh, in uninstalling social media or anything like that would help you in the examination? No, yeah. I think there is nothing yeah. like that. Uh, I have yeah. uninstalled the, uh, all the social media apps and I installed again in one, uh, one day only. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what we can do. Yeah, I, I am also of the can, same uh, opinion. But we can reduce the timing for the, so we are giving yeah. to the social media. We need to media. control ourselves. That's yeah. the thing. We need to control. Maximum, I, I used to give only one hour of time to social media. Yeah, yeah that's, that's Just absolutely Just in break time, some for motivation only, I have, I used to see. Yeah. For yeah, a relief point of. Yeah, so that's the point that uh, a pretty good thing you saw, saw here. And I was also of the same opinion when I was a student. That even if there is a social media, you don't need to uninstall it. You can keep your motivation high from that as well. You just need to be dedicated enough. If you are spending more time, you need to stop it and then you need to go back to your study. And even if you uninstall it, that doesn't mean you are getting a good rank. You will again yeah. install it. And yeah. we used to do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So bro, what, what was your revision strategy? How did you actually revise uh, all the subjects? Like the syllabus is vast. So what was your revision strategy? So after the, after in the institute, when they completed the syllabus, uh, uh, in December, uh, they have completed, in November ending, they have completed the syllabus. From December 1st, I have planned that uh, every subject, I, I need to take some five days of time for the revision. Uh, I need to prepare some, some short notes. So, uh, for every subject, I have taken five days and uh, I, uh, I read all the topics and I have prepared the short notes and I have done all the PYQs which are left over. Uh, during the coaching only, I, I used to do some PYQs. So leftover PYQs all I, I did in the December and January month. So initially I thought uh, I can complete the whole syllabus uh, by January 5th. So initially I planned like that. After that I, I will take the mock test. But uh, 
up to february 5th i i am studying all the subjects only okay so at uh, at january 18 uh, i have left with uh, two subjects electromagnetics and uh, communications so okay. uh, uh, after the january 18, 18 uh, on january 19 uh, i have attempted one all india mock free mock test okay uh, and after that i used to uh, attempt one mock test daily and okay. after uh, a completion of parallelly i used to study electromagnetics and communications and on february 5th i completed all the all the subjects all pyqs and all revision uh, every topic i have learned and uh, some topics i have left in emtl i left uh, antennas like that uh, okay. i have left some topics okay okay uh, and after the february 5th i used to write uh, daily two mock tests okay okay so Mm-hmm. that's a pretty good thing like people run behind come completing completing the syllabus but the always motive should be that whatever that we have completed that should be completed with good amount of patience and good amount of understanding and that's a pretty yeah. good thing like you were also doing the syllabus in the last as well people feel like completing the syllabus in november or yeah. even before that but that doesn't actually help right i so, was yeah, really like, very tense to because uh, up to january 19th I, i have not attempted one single full length mock test also i i attempted uh, some subject wise and topic wise but uh, up to january 18th i have not uh, uh, given one mock test also so but yeah, and uh, it was absolutely fine i in uh, some of the videos i also said that uh, even if you are attempting the latest by 25th january if you are attempting you are absolutely fine with that and uh, yeah. what was your performance what was your performance in that full length mock test in the first full length mock test what was your performance in first full length mock test i got uh, 50 marks 50 50 uh, without without that uh, emtl and communications yeah so that was a pretty good performance right your yeah. rank was roughly around rank was uh, uh, 40 42 i think yeah so you performed well even with those two subjects yeah. that means your eight subjects were prepared in a very good manner that was the thing yeah. and uh, what was your usual performance did you used to perform yeah. in the same range uh, up to february 5th I, i used to get 50 to 60 after completing all the subjects uh, i was getting 60 to 70 okay so uh, uh my average was in the last uh, 10 mock test my average was 66.66 okay. in the mock test and uh, finally i got also 66.66 only yeah yeah great and this is also i i always say like if you are performing well in test series then there is very high chance that you are going to perform well in the examination as well so test series are very very important yeah. so yeah great and uh, regarding the pyq what was your question bank like how many what all things you solved pyqs and any other thing you solved no only pyqs i have solved only pyq and not certainly so. class notes problem would also have been there right ah uh, class notes problems yeah yeah i could not solve the workbooks and textbooks even by the coaching institute but uh, okay. i i have not uh, i didn't have that much time yeah so, so only pyqs and uh, yeah only yeah. pyqs and class notes problem dpps assignment those are more than enough much more than enough right and what was your temperament during the examination like did you feel like uh, there are a lot of questions from a particular subject because communication you prepared later on right and yeah. there were 16 questions i guess 16 questions or no sorry 16 mark question was there from communication so In like was there any i yeah. uh, i was very tense because uh, uh, three questions came from information theory and coding yeah, yeah. So generally they will give only one question yeah, so yeah. in the tension i could not able to solve also i feel i felt very tensed in first 30 minutes i took only aptitude and after 30 minutes i entered into technical subject i have seen first question after seeing that question only i i got to know that the paper is very easy so uh, i i need to get some more marks like that uh, but that make that made me very tensed yeah, so in I that have... tension i have done so many silly mistakes even yeah. though i know the answer also i have kept wrong I and could have got some. Eventually, uh, some the paper was not me. that easy. Actually, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens. It was. It was tricky somewhat. Yeah, it happens. Like mm-hmm. so when we predict the question paper right in the beginning, it happens. Mm-hmm. We okay. usually, during my attempt, I thought it was very tough, so I became very mm-hmm. easy at that time. Oh. <laughs> But eventually, uh-huh. it was on moderate to tough level. So predicting the question paper right in the beginning, that is something that we should not do, just by looking mm-hmm. at one or two questions, right? Yeah. So still, you performed really well. that's great uh, yeah. so and lastly like if you want to uh, like if you want to tell how prefusion helped you in your preparation you can certainly tell that uh, prefusion uh, i have seen uh, some youtube videos in the in the last days of my preparation uh, like uh, 
3 hours in mosfet mosfet in complete mosfet in 3 hours video like the topics it helped me a lot uh, the approach also the approach uh, is also very different and it was very unique uh, to my coaching institute and the standard is also very good actually uh, and uh, and after uh, after the gate also uh, you launched some tech masters course that's also yeah, yeah. helping me a lot actually there is no coaching institute giving the interview uh, preparation after yeah. the gate so it, for free of cost you are giving so it's very good actually yeah. so how much have you covered that tech tech master did you study anything from that till now yeah digital part i am seeing now actually okay. i have not uh, given that much time but i have seen some videos i need okay, to see okay. from now okay okay great yeah you can spend time on that and lastly mm. if you want to tell anything uh, any suggestion you want to give to your juniors or those who are going to attempt uh, 2026 or 2027 examination you can give that you can tell that yeah just uh, believe in yourself and never give up and uh, uh, solve all the pqs because uh, same models will be repeated and uh, yeah. uh, prepare the short notes it will be very helpful to for revision actually uh, in the last moment if you want to revise the whole 400 pages uh, lecture book is it is very tough to revise yeah. so if you write the short notes it will be very helpful uh, short notes pqs and uh, test series test test series is very important and uh, you can realize your mistakes and uh, you get you get to use it to the uh, compiler or the interface of the real yeah. exam yeah and uh, give as many as mock test uh, i have given from uh, january 19th to february 14th i have given some 28 mock test full length mock tests okay. so okay. It, it it helped me a lot i realized my mistakes i re- i realized my uh, weaknesses so it will it will be very helpful yeah these three are very very important pyqs short notes and a test series these are enough textbooks yeah, so, also are not necessary yeah so this one query i always get how to make the short notes since you already prepared yeah. the short notes so you can tell that uh, actually it requires uh, first, firstly i wrote some short notes but uh, after that i realized it also needs some uh, some skill to write the short notes so after uh, okay. after solving the pyqs you can prepare the short notes actually you will get yeah. that uh, maturity and how to write and what to uh, remember after yeah. after solving the pyqs you can write the uh, short notes then you will get clear idea what to write what not to write and what to remember all things yeah so that's a pretty good thing like not after the revision after completing the pyqs if we write down the short notes yeah. then it would be very better for us yeah great yeah, great yeah great kartik yeah so best of luck whatever you want to achieve we talk like you want to go for a particular college in mvlsi ics certainly you will get that that's yeah pretty thanks. sure so yeah thank you Thank you very much for coming on this channel. Thank you everyone for watching the video till the end. If you also want to prepare in the same manner with prep fusion for gate 126 and 127 examination, then you can visit our website and apply the code Titans15 on all our paid courses and you will get 15% off. The complete information regarding all the courses have been shared in this particular video which you can check out by clicking on the link that has been posted in the description box. Best of luck to everyone and happy learning.